This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Aerotech. Precision motion control and automation. Take control. Speed. Precision. Performance. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. Hurricane Ian devastated parts of southwest Florida, including Estero Island, in 2022. Assessing damage quickly and accurately after a natural disaster like that one is critical. But the typical approach, field-based surveying, is risky, costly, and sometimes inaccurate when heavily damaged areas are inaccessible. Now, a new approach aims to improve the process. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University have developed a technique that can rapidly produce high-resolution, detailed assessment of hurricane damage. The remote sensing system uses LIDAR technology from the Joint Airborne LIDAR Bathymetry Technical Center of Expertise, along with the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Emergency Response Imagery Database and an aerial imagery algorithm ultimately creating a LiDAR dataset to identify the hardest hit areas and the extent of damages in those areas. The technique also examines the relationship between the level of damage and pre- and post-storm geomorphology on a barrier island. Using the approach specifically to assess Estero Island, the team was able to determine the extent of damage quickly and accurately for more than 2,400 structures. They hope the system will also help identify factors to aid in future coastal resiliency and improve disaster planning. Researchers in Japan are taking 3D holography to new heights and by much safer and simpler means. A new approach designed by a team from the University of Tokyo's Information Photonics Laboratory can create full-color 3D layered holographic images using computer-generated holography, a spatial light modulator, and a standard smartphone. In this work, an iPhone 14 Pro was used. The new setup relies on light that's passed from the smartphone screen through a spatial light modulator to create multiple layers of a full-color 3D image. Incoherent light propagation then allows the data to devise an algorithm that coordinates light emitted from the device's screen with a single spatial light modulator. Right now, the team is continuing to enhance their technique to make holographic displays more accessible for a variety of applications. And because the new approach doesn't require a laser source, which is a common component in conventional methods, they say the setup could be safer and more effective for virtual and augmented reality displays. Increasingly, we're hearing about the advanced capabilities of quantum computers and their potential to far surpass classical systems. But researchers at laser-based processing technology developer LightSolver say a new setup could go even further. The Israel-based company has developed a pure laser-based computer processing unit, the LPU-100. A first of its kind, the system uses 100 lasers to solve even the toughest mathematical problems faster and more accurately than classical, quantum, or supercomputers. More specifically, the new technology uses a laser array with a mathematical problem encoded in the phases of the laser. Coupled lasers then interact and seamlessly converge toward the minimal energy loss state that provides the solution to the problem. The technology essentially represents 100 continuous variables to tackle optimization problems with about 120,000 combinations. It mimics some aspects of quantum computers, like scanning all possibilities simultaneously, but the researchers say their laser processing-based system is simpler to operate and already equipped to start solving real-world problems. In fact, the LPU-100 is now showing promise for applications in logistics, manufacturing, aerospace, and finance. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Follow us on social media and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. And check out our Following the Photons podcast, too, to hear some really cool, interesting interviews with the industry's top players. Until next time.